Bauer till everybody can run to get a good spot close to the stage in the big TV. So when the Bucks won their one and only NBA championship back in 1971, thousands of fans greeted the team at the airport, but there was no parade to celebrate that incredible feat. Ben Jordan goes in depth now to find out why. Grayson has been a Milwaukee Bucks season ticket holder for more than 50 years. There I am, right there. Her love for the team is on full display in her basement that's filled with hundreds of pieces of Bucks history. Minnie says her favorite will always be the 1971 championship. It was a lot of energy. People were really happy. Minnie went to the 71 finals home games, but when the team clinched the rings and champagne flowed on the road in Baltimore, a celebratory parade never even crossed her mind. They just didn't have parades back then. Your team won, you were happy. And that was it. Rick Schabowski considers himself a Milwaukee sports historian, and he even wrote this book about the Bucks championship run. He remembers hearing Bucks announcer Eddie Doucette calling on fans to welcome the team home at Mitchell Field. It was very close, very intimate that you were right next to the players and feeling the energy. You had to, you had to go crazy and yell. Were you anticipating a parade in the coming days? Not really. It just like I said, they really didn't. It'd be nice. They really never talked anything about it, never really said anything. So it just didn't happen. Rick says the New York Knicks who won the championship the year before and the L.A. Lakers the year after didn't get a hometown parade either as the NBA was just taking off and building viewership. The original buck, John McLaughlin, said his frustrations over a lack of a championship parade grew a decade later. When I saw the Brewers have a parade in 82, and I love that Brewer team and a lot of those guys are my buddies. They came in second. We won it and had no parade. That's when it hit me. The Brewers weren't the only ones. In 1957, the Milwaukee Braves championship team rode down Wisconsin Avenue where tens of thousands of fans lined the street. Baseball was more of a king of the sports at back then, the World Series and stuff. The Super Bowl was just fledging a couple years in. And Basketball wasn't as big. Now that basketball is huge in Milwaukee and around the world, the Bucks are just three wins shy of what could be a celebration big enough to make up for what could have been 50 years ago. If we win the title, it's going to be on. It's going to be a big parade in Milwaukee. Mayor Barrett's office tells me he won't speak just yet about what a Bucks championship parade would look like simply out of superstition as the team has yet to earn it. However, his staff tells me they are looking at the 1957 Braves championship parade route, which went through the heart of downtown. Reporting outside of Pfizer Forum, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.